So while the guide is marketed towards teachers and counselors, I designed it so that the activities could easily be used by families when they're together at home. I was very purposeful in creating activities that don't really require a lot of materials because not everyone might have access to the same type of objects at home. Um, so if the activity does require a material, there are things you probably have, such as crayons or other recyclables. Um, but I really hope that kids can use this at home with their families, in school, with all types of teachers. It's something that can be shared because there is such a wide range of activities and focus areas. Um, so there truly is something for everyone and each of these activities can be easily adaptable to the level of ability. So again, each story has different things like writing, technology, science, movement, drawing, art, math, music, and more. Um, so for example, the writing activities, a kindergarten student might only be capable of writing one sentence, but for an older student, you could have them write an entire essay, um, the discussion questions, if a student cannot read or if they are younger, you can have them discuss out loud together as either a family or in the classroom. But if it is an older student, you might be able to have them write out age appropriate length responses to each question and allowing them really to dive into their own thought processes. Um, another example would be one of my favorite activities in the guide, a nature walk. Um, so for younger students, you might tell them, find two items on this list and you might name those two items for them. But for older students, you might hand them the list and tell them to find as many as you can. Um, you might have them write a creative story using the objects they found. You might be able to have them describe what each item looks like. Um, so it's kind of hard to answer because there's just so many activities um, in there and it's hard to kind of say without going through each one specifically, but I think that kind of gives a little insight. It's really just kind of about adding or subtracting details um, to each activity. Mm -hmm.